all top of the morning to you. I got some stuff I want you to start considering here. I don't believe it's a salvational issue, but it's definitely some food for thought in meditating and considering the scriptures. Check this out. A lot of folks out there want to say that Enoch is not in the heavenly kingdom or the heavenly realm, one of those, like the third heaven out there where, where the Father's at or where, um, where Jesus is at maybe. And we know that he's sitting on the right hand of the Father. But let me read you something. Consider this, will you? I'm over here in Genesis 5. I'm going to start reading at um, verse 21. And Enoch lived 60 and 5 years and begat Methuselah. And Enoch walked with God after he begat Methuselah 300 years and begat sons and daughters. So he walked with God for 300 years. Let that marinate for a little bit as I read. And all the days of Enoch were six, 360 and 5 years. And Enoch walked with God. See, he goes on to say it again. He walked with God and he was not. For God took him. Okay. What's that mean? Let's jump over here and see what it means. Let's go over here to Hebrews 11. Hebrews 11. The Bible says go here a little and there a little. So we just went from the Old Testament to the New Testament, right? From the Old Covenant to the New Covenant. Check it out. And there's still this man we're talking about, Enoch. It says, Hebrews 11 and verse 5 says, By faith Enoch was translated Ooh, that he should not see death. And he was not found because God had translated him for before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Now, yes, Jesus was the first fruits of the grave. But I'm telling you, Enoch was translated. God translated him into the spiritual realm that he did not see death. So that would still make Jesus the first fruits of the grave. Y'all have a good day. I love you. Read your Bibles.